Extra. that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister. Bird told me there are people in Oakmont who can help me leave town. Maybe, maybe not. What makes you think I know anything? I've heard they're having a wake for Toothless Bob here. That may be true, but I don't know you from Adam. Prove you ain't some gumshoe. Come on, you can trust me. Ask Mr. Throgmorton. He can vouch for me. <laughs> If you think I'll trust you just because you were doing business with that ape, then you've got another thing coming. But you're still alive. That means you've got something going for you. Okay. What about a little favor? Nothing fancy, don't worry. I expected a package to be delivered ages ago, but the courier still hasn't shown. Find out what's taking him so long. Here's the address. Got it. One more thing. If you don't find him, bring the package back, will ya? It's a crate full of the water of life, if you catch my drift.
by.
off by something heavy with wheels. Blood's almost dry. Empty, but reeks of gasoline. I've seen ashes like this before. Well, that's one way to get rid of a corpse. I've seen ashes like this before. Well, that's one way to get rid of a corpse.
much. by something heavy with wheels. The blood's almost dry. Empty, but reeks of gasoline. I've seen ashes like this before. Well, that's one way to get rid of a corpse. Done, kid. Someone talks to the cops behind my back. Their history. Get him, boys. No mercy, boys. He's been asking for this. Drock! Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Time to figure this out. You're done, kid. Someone took no mercy, boys. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Drock! Whose idea was it to hide the crates in such a stupid way? 
You're done, kid. Drock! Who's- No mercy, boys. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Drock! Whose idea was it to hide the crates? You're done, kid. No mercy, boys. Get rid of him. Leave nothing but ashes. Understood? Someone was looking for a crate here and was brutally killed. The crew that did it were headed up by a guy in a wheelchair. Well, I found your courier. I hate to break it to you, but he's dead. Someone didn't like him talking to the cops, and, well, they made it pretty savage. Well, oh, okay, I'm dead. He might think I was in on it. He? Who's he? The boss. Is there anything I can do to help? Nay, hey, I'll handle it. But take my advice. The boss is the only man who can arrange a bon voyage. Don't do anything to make him unhappy. There, a newcomer. Here's the note with your instructions. Beyond that, you're on your own. Okay, thanks. Here's your water of life. Shh, keep it down, pal. Not too shabby, newcomer. You deserve a reward for this. Bye.
just caught this. Hey, fella, what do you do when you see a dog? Pet it or kick it away? I'd kill it because the dog's rabid. Right you are. You're a new one, huh? Come with us. Just take me to your boss. I'd have broken all your bones, fella, if Papa Brute hadn't put you off limits. Who are you, and what the drop do you want? And let's be quick about it, kid. I don't have the whole damn day. Let's just say I'm a private detective and leave it at that. <laughs> Cocky, ain't you? So be it, kid. I have a pretty good idea who you might be. You were working for Throgmorton, right? So... What do you want? I want to smuggle a man out of the city. Yeah, a lot of people want to leave Oakmont, kid. Few ever succeed. It won't be easy. And, like everything in life that's worthwhile, it won't be cheap. So, what's it gonna cost me? Normally, I wouldn't do Drock for a newcomer. But you're doing business with that old... Ape lover Throgmorton. I think that's interesting. That tells me you're worth something, kid. Now, I have a job needs doing, but it needs to stay between the two of us. <sighs> Guess I have no choice. So, what do I need to do? First things first. My name's Brutus Carpenter. Rightful head of the Carpenter family. Second thing. Someone tried to kill me a week ago. Oh, you're not asking me to track them down and kill them, are you? No, kid. I've got hatchet men if I need them. And I don't want to kill them anyway. I just want to know who was gunning for me and why. 
Yeah, I know how it sounds. But after I almost died, I realized that being a hard case isn't the only option. I want to try to do things differently. I wasn't expecting mercy from a crime boss. So, what's the catch? It's not a trick, kid. I couldn't give a damn what you think about me. When you're at death's door, it makes you reassess your priorities. All right, color me interested. How did this all happen? I woke up in the crematorium inside a rolled up carpet. I had this tag on my toe like some cadaver. And I was covered in this weird rancid slime. I managed to get myself out of there. But what I saw once I got home made me think I had a screw loose. And what did you see? Me, kid. Some palooka wearing my face and walking out my front door like all was well with the world. So I decided to get out and hole up here. Gathered a small company and pulled myself together. What was your last memory before the crematorium? I can remember clearly a dinner I had a week before the incident. After that, yeah, only bits and pieces. I remember writing something in my diary. I don't recall what, except it was important. Those notes could tell us how it all started. And I suppose that diary is still in your manner. Exactly, kid. In a strong box in my room. You have my permission to crack it if it's necessary. I'll write you the address. You must have tried to do something about this imposter already. Of course I did, kid. I wouldn't be asking for your help if this was just a walk in the park. My people said they killed that other me. It didn't change a thing. I guess they got the wrong guy. Any thoughts on who'd want to do this to you? Yeah, it must be someone close to me, so I can't trust anyone. I haven't even contacted my son, Graham. Normally I'd get him to solve this. I'm vulnerable now. I can't risk exposing myself. Another good reason to bring in an independent contractor. So where would I find the city's crematorium? Ah, of course you don't know. You're a newcomer after all. Here's the address. I got it. It appears you're quite capable of standing without aid. So why the wheelchair? Does your curiosity always beat out your courtesy? I'll tell you if it makes you happy. I'm old. Some days I feel tired. This wheelchair, unlike many people, has never crossed me. So I know I can count on it if I need to. You mentioned your son, Graham. Can you tell me more about him? Graham? Why would you care? He has nothing to do with this. You sound pretty sure about that. Of course. Graham is too honest. And since the end of the war, he turned into a real bleeding heart. It's become a bit of a headache, actually. Of course, we've had our differences. Especially about the family business. But he would never hurt a fly. Let alone me. Goodbye. Whoa, what gives? <laughs>